Hey guys, it's Pearls and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new match day vlog. And yes, today Stoke City will face Wigan up to get the Betfree Sets Fire Stadium on a cold Tuesday night in the Potteries. And yeah, this game, obviously I forgot this game was completely on and I thought Cardiff's going to be the next one, but this one is on. Uh, and yeah, we'll just go into the stats. Stoke are obviously on a bad run of form. Since we beat Coventry 4-0, we've only picked up one point out of the last nine. Uh, Wigan are obviously on a lot worse form. They've not won any, any games in the last three, nor scored. And they sit at the bottom of the league. So, in hindsight, we should win this because obviously, well, Wigan are obviously bottom of the league. But Wigan will try and throw everything at this because if Wigan don't win, then they're pretty much down. And if the results don't go their way tomorrow, I think Cardiff and Reading, I think both of them get like wins. They think Wigan are gone. That's if Wigan lose. So Wigan will throw everything at this to try and get themselves a win. And yeah, I just think Stoke can win. I was almost right with the West Brom score. <laughs> I said 1-1, one, one, but obviously West Brom run in the end and some diabolical refereeing, but it's in the past now. We move on to Wigan, and I think this is going to finish up as a 2-1 win. I think it's going to be a bit ropey. Hopefully we can just get over the line and get the three points to uh, hopefully propel us <laughs> ready for next season. And I hope to see some youngsters on the pitch as well, maybe like Tezgal and Connor Taylor, maybe, because obviously... Alex Neal has said in an interview he's going to try and get some of the players on the pitch that hasn't actually you know, had a lot of minutes. So, I hope to see some of those guys on there. And yeah, let's crack on with the vlog. And I'm going to say, if you guys enjoyed the vlog, hope you guys leave a like. And if you're new, subscribe as well if you're new, if you'd like to. Uh, it's free to do so and you can cancel at any time. So, without further ado, let's get down to the Becky Sets 5 Stadium for this game against Wigan. Come on, Stoke. <laughs> So your appreciation for number 34, Randy Bailey. Number 6, Bailey and the Number 10, Tyrese Campbell. Number 11, Dwight Gale. Number 17, Piana Hoover. Nice. Number 18, Will Smallbone. And number 47, Correll. Now let's leave your Stoke City starting at Emma. In goal, makes up by to number 13, Jack Bonham. Number 3, Morgan Fox. Number 8, your captain, Lewis Baker. Number 9, Jacob Brown. Number 14, Josh Tyler. Number 15, Jordan Thompson. Number 20, Dujon Sterling. Number 23, Bursan Salina. Hey. Number 25, Nick Barr. Number 28, Josh Laurent. And number 32, Connor Taylor. I know it's midweek, but it's packed to the rafters out of waste stand. It is midweek. Of Wigan Athletic and your mighty, mighty Potter!
Oh. 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 Having this game for a bit because the atmosphere is dire so far. Deep. Selena. Come on! The timing, we're pretend, come on. from a Stoke point of view, these Wigan fans obviously, they've actually not seen their team do too badly, it's been yes, you do somewhat even, it's been mostly Wigan, they've had a lot of the chances, like I said, they're going to be trying their hardest to try to get something out of this, they've got to so not too much to win out of the game, they're going to try and slide, so we'll see what the second half brings us to die so far. Um, 
Well, we well, we're going to be very Please quiet. can everyone film this, because um, this is the best thing ever. Um, Jack, you're going to go second. Joe is going to go first. I'm going to get... I do so much. Saw that coming. Deserved as well. For fuck's sake, Selena! For God's sake. Come on. Hold it. Oh, lad. No, nothing in that. Goal, that's fucking. Again, come on! Seconds, come on! Somebody! Well guys, it's full time, I don't know if you can see me, I'm not very well, but I left early, uh, I think most of us probably did, Stoke fans. Um, fair play to Wigan, you know, last I said this, they got something to fight for, 
and they showed it on the pitch. You know, we've just looked last lot lacklustre, lazy, slow, beaten as soon as we got on the pitch. So we deserve to lose that. I can't say anything else. We were absolutely dreadful. Fair play to all those Wigan fans. I don't know how many came, like about 200, 300 probably. They came up on a Tuesday night and backed their team to a win. So now that actually that win helps them towards uh, safety. And you look at the team, they just should stay up with the team they have. But obviously results haven't gone in their favour. So it is what it is. I just hope all the best for Wigan. Now hopefully they stay, they stay up. And um, yeah, we move on to Cardiff now. I am going to Cardiff. I wish I, did. I wish I didn't actually buy tickets for that game now. Um, but I'm going to go Cardiff anyway. I don't think I'm going to vlog it though because I'm obviously going with a lot of work colleagues. So they're going to, obviously I'm going to be a bit weird just having my camera out with them. But yeah, I'm just going to go for the, for the, for the game. I'm not, not going to vlog it for you guys. Like I say, I've already done Cardiff already. So but yeah, in more terms of the game, first half we're going to have most of the ball. We're going to threaten most. And we just couldn't do anything with it. We were just so lazy. Selena, absolutely awful. Connor Taylor had a decent game. Obviously, he made a couple of mistakes. But like I say, he's only young and he will make a, a couple of mistakes. But getting 90 minutes, yeah, it's good. He's good for his confidence. Like I say, he had a good game. Absolutely. Stoke fans also booing off Baker as off the pitch. He, had, he didn't have a good, great, great game either. Neither did the whole team, really, apart from Connor Taylor. So, yeah. That's it for the vlog though guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. And if you're new, hit subscribe as well. It's free and you can cancel at any time. So yeah, I'll be probably going to QPR. And I might go Watford away last game of the season. I see what the tickets are like, but I'll probably go to that one. So thank you guys for watching. This is Bones. I'm signing out. Peace.